we're going to start with the ball. Okay. And the reason we're going to use the ball is because a lot of people complain when they're doing their abdominal exercise that they feel it more in their neck than they but do in their abdominals. I like find that, that too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a, yeah. yeah. First. Okay. So this ball is kind of acting like support to take the tension off of our neck, and then we can just focus on our core. Okay. So we're just going to take that ball and put it behind our backs, okay. roughly where your bra strap would sit. Okay. And then to start, we can just have our palms down and feel comfortable so that your, your chin isn't like resting right there into your chest and that your gaze is sort of just above your knees. Palms are down for support and just hang out here so you should feel comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just take your right leg and take it up into tabletop and then reach it to the ceiling and then reach it away and you feel how you, you want your hip bones want to rock? Yeah. So use your abdominals to control that rocking. Slide that foot back in okay. and then take it up take and it up. reach it for the ceiling and then reach it long to that wall across from us. Slide it back in and then take it up and reach. Already you sh should feel, feel your I core can. having to work. But your neck should feel oh, and my comfortable neck, yeah, and supported. Yeah, it feels really comfortable on my neck. Good. Let's take the other leg. Let's okay. take it up, stabilize through the core, reach that foot to the ceiling, and then reach away to that wall in front of us and slide it back in. And again, reach away okay. and slide it back in. Good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I just feel it in my core. I yes. feel it tightening. All right, and now let's take that ball and move it a little bit okay. further up toward the neck, just repositioning it slightly, so that if you were to take your hands and interlace them behind your head and look ahead again, chin away, and then see if you could take one leg up, and then see if you can take the other leg up and okay. hold, Ooh. and hold. Tap one foot down and up. Tap the other foot down and up, and tap, and exhale. I feel that. One more time. Okay, let's take both feet down. Okay. Get comfortable again. So you should really have felt that all yeah. through here. Take your hands, interlace them behind your head. Take one leg up into tabletop, leave it there. And then let's see if on an exhale, we can take the opposite elbow of the knee that's raised across. Exhale to I don't center. Think I can reach. Exhale. <laughs> okay. You don't even, don't even have to have them touch. It's that. Trying, and when you come across, I want you to exhale and feel like you're sliding your ribs down towards your hip bones. So you're gonna exhale, draw that belly button in, slide those ribs down, and come across. So oh, you're, I feel yeah, like you tuck that here. belly, yeah, tuck that yeah. belly button in, slide the ribs across to the hip bone. Let's take that leg, put it okay. down, and take the opposite leg up. Okay, get comfortable in that position. Hands behind the head, a nice inhale, and then an exhale, reach across and slide those ribs down, tuck that belly button in, and then back to center. And slide them across and to center. Let's try three more. Okay. One, and exhale, two, and three, and then back to center. Ooh. So you realize you don't have to go and do 100 no. crunches, you just need to do you know. Yeah, just enough. Enough right? that are, are very effective. And I feel it through my whole core. I don't feel it in just one area. And then we found. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you can just feel everything working. What we can do then is we can take okay. the ball and if you lie down, okay, put energy through your heels and then lift those hip bones to the ceiling and see if you can get that ball right under your tailbone. Okay? Okay. Tuck it under. There. Good. Okay. So when you're like this, again, you should feel relatively comfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. Take one leg up into tabletop and take the other leg up into tabletop. Get that sense of balance. Ooh, okay. okay. Your lower back should feel supported. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you could feel, do you feel comfortable here? I do. Okay. okay. Now let's see, can we take both legs, point them to the ceiling? And then I want you to take one leg away. Stabilize through your core. Oh, I did the wrong leg yeah. that way. <laughs> okay. And then let's switch. And switch. And oh. switch. This is like that bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of bicycle, but you know, now we have support through our lower back. We're just right. reaching yeah. away and reaching away. And let's go six, five, 
four. And when you're in this position, think still that your ribs are kind of connecting to your hip bones, okay? Okay. All right, almost like you're trying to slide those ribs down so that you can really feel it in your core. And let's go three, two, and one. Let's take those legs back into tabletop. Can we take them to the ceiling? And if you want, even take your hands and you can put them okay. by that ball. And then can we dip them away? Yeah, I got it. And then scoop those heels towards your bum and then take them back up and reach them to the ceiling. Point those toes. Reach those feet away. Scoop those heels towards the bum and reach away. Let's do three more. How does okay, that feel? That feels good. Yeah, and I can feel it right in my lower legs. Left legs. away. Scoop and then take me back up. We can do that in reverse where we can tuck the heels towards the bum, angle them out, reach away, oh, and lift. And tuck them in, and reach away, and lift. One more, tuck them in, yes, and then reach those legs away, and up to the ceiling. Good. Oh, wow. And then we can just okay. plant those heels in, okay. lift those hip bones, and roll that ball back in. <laughs> it's a little stuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good. Okay. Good. So that's just one of the ways that we can use the ball to work the abdominals. That was good. I felt it. Um, I felt it in my abs, and then usually, like I. I hate that feeling in the neck and the back and when I, you do yeah, your crunches yeah but like I felt like I can do more and you know and um, like my the quality I do is better than <laughs> I found <laughs> yeah um, we can also take the ball to use work our arms in a supported position so for anybody who has like issues with their shoulders or even their wrists we can use this ball to help us you know on our arm strength and shoulders oh wow so we can okay. Lie on our bellies this time. Okay. And take that ball and then just kind of put it, you know, right under, right between our hip bones. Okay. And then the rest of our body, I want it engaged. Oh. So your feet are going to be flexed. Like a plank, I guess? Yes, okay. kind of like a plank. So if I were to touch your butt right now, it's, you know, working. Mm -hmm. All right, your legs are extended. And then let's have the hands to the sides here, palms facing down. Okay. All right, in this position, I want you to feel like you're lifting your elbows up and then taking me down. It doesn't even have to be that big a motion. So my neck is still in line with the rest of my spine. We're going to push away. Energy through the palms and lift. Oh wow, that's so and comfortable you can, on your wrists. Yeah, and yeah. it's comfortable on the wrists. You're not really working the shoulders, but you're still getting a good workout right, yeah. through the arms. Then we can take those hands and sort of create, you know, a triangle in front. Again, pushing energy through those palms, keeping those legs engaged, and then lift and exhale. And exhale. And you can feel how the arms are still having to work without mm -hmm. doing a full push-up. So anybody could do these at home and still get a good workout. Yeah, this is a lot. Like, it's easier than doing a full push-up, for yeah. sure. But you still get the benefit, and you're kind right. of really yeah. targeting, you're just targeting the muscles yeah. that you're, you're looking that you to want. target. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Okay. Well, yeah, I feel that. I'm like, yeah, that was good. Very good. Like, right, just right on my arms. And like, it's a lot comfortable on the wrists. But that's right, I, you don't, a lot of people yeah. can't, can't handle that weight on the wrists. Right. Or, yeah, so many every, people have shoulder. Every time I'm doing a plank, I feel it in yeah. like my, my wrists and my hands, that, yeah. that bone there. It's just a nice thing, just having this ball at home gives you so many options to do things that perhaps you either don't like to do them or you can't do them. Mm -hmm. um, and it just helps keep you in alignment.